In this tutorial, you will learn how to get the state from a push button with your Arduino board so you can know when the button is pressed and when the button is not pressed. So two steps here. First, we are going to create the circuit and then write the code. So here is the hardware circuits we are going to build with our Arduino. Let's get started. So first I'm going to take a black wire and I'm going to plug here the ground. So one GND pin of the Arduino board to the blue line of the breadboard. I'm going to take another wire, a red wire, and plug it between 5 volt and the plus line or the red line. So now what do I have on my breadboard? I have all those dots here on the first line connected to ground, all those dots on the second line or the plus line connected to 5 volt, which will be very useful for any circuits you have. So I take my push button, you can see we have four uh, legs, and I'm simply going to plug it in the middle between, as you can see here, okay, between the two parts of the breadboard, okay, so each leg okay, can be connected to a line. So that would be more convenient. And then I'm going to take my resistor. So this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. And I'm going to plug one leg. So let's say the up left here. And I'm going to plug this here. And the other leg of the resistor, I'm going to plug it to the ground like this. So why this resistor? Well, this resistor will act as what we call a pull down resistor which means that when we read the state from the button, we know that the default state when the button is not pressed, because this is linked to the ground, so the default state of the button will be zero volt. And when we press on the button, we will be able to read the high state or simply five volt from the Arduino. So we will be able, thanks to that resistor, to tell that we have a default behavior that we know when the button is not pressed. Then I'm going to take a small right wire here and connect so another leg, which is on another side of the button, okay, to the 5 volt here. And then the last wire I have here, I'm going to connect it on that leg here. And this is important, it should be on the same side as the resistor connected to ground, okay? You take the button, you have the left side and the right side, okay? On the right side, you just have one connection to 5 volt. On the left side, you have the resistor to ground. And this, uh, this here, this wire connected to a digital pin, let's say digital pin number 2. So we will be able to read the state from the button using that digital pin here. And all right, the circuit is now finished. And now back to the Arduino IDE. So what you can do is connect your board to the computer and then go on tools and make sure that you have the correct board set up here. So for me, this is Arduino Uno. And then check that you have the uh, port also that is correctly selected here. So if this is okay, then we can write the program. And let's first start by using define button pin 2. So what does that mean? We are going to create a constant named button pin, all uppercase, with 2, 2 which is the pin number, so digital pin number 2 on the Arduino. So that way we are going to be able to use button pin in our program, which will make more sense. And also if later on we want to change the pin for the button, we just change it here and not in the code. So then we have the void setup and void loop. Void setup will be executed once at the beginning of your program. So this is where you are going to initialize your component. And we need to initialize the button pin. To do that, we are going to use the pin mode function with uppercase with the M. Okay, this should turn orange, as you can see here. And we are going to give two parameters. First, the button pin here that we have defined, then comma, and then we need to give a mode for the pin. So we can choose between output, if we want to write some data, 
so if we want to actuate the component or input and of course we are going to use input because we want to read some data from the push button so you need to do this if you want to use the push button you need to do pin mode with the button pin and input in the void setup of your arduino program and then you are able to read the state from the button so what we can do is in the void loop so basically what the void loop will do it will be called after the void setup okay and once the void loop is finished it will be called again and again and again so this is what we can call an infinite loop so whatever instructions you write here will be executed an infinite number of time set up just once and loop infinite number of time so if you want to read the value from the button you do digital read with button pin and this will give you the state of the button which will be either high or low high when we press on the button and low when we don't press on the button because we have a pull down resistor which will set the default value to zero or low so of course what we can do with this maybe we can print it so if we want to print it we have to do serial.begin in the void setup function with 9600 baud rate for example and then here what i can do is serial.println and i'm going to put the digital read function inside the println function don't forget the semicolon so i can directly print the state of the button I'm going to add a delay of 100 milliseconds because we don't want to print too fast. And now, well, let's upload the code to the Arduino. So let's name it test button. And let's open the serial monitor so we can see what we get here. You can see we have 0000. Now I'm going to press on the button. And now we have 1. I release the button, we have zero. I press, we have one. So great, it's working. And you can detect when you have pressed on the button or if the button is simply not pressed. So as you can see here, when you print directly the result, high and low will be evaluated to one and zero. But in your code, you should use those values. So now, for example, if you want to test, you can say if digital read button pin if this is with two equal high you can see high turning blue then you can do something and then else if the button pin is low which means that the button is not pressed you can do something else okay so you can use either high here or low to test uh, different conditions and well this is how you are going to use your button in your code actually you are going to check the state and depending on the state you can do different actions all right so to recap first you create a define here button pin so you create a constant with a pin number so you don't have to write this in your code in the void setup you initialize the pin for the button to input with pin mode function and then if you want to read the state from the button you do digital read button pin and this will give you a value which is high or low and because we have added a pull down resistor the default value is low when the button is not pressed and high when the button is pressed if you liked this video subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future also check out my online courses so you can learn arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point links in the description Alright, thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.